Hi, this is Lisa McPike Smith, and this is the Hepcat Studio in San Marcos, Texas. I share my studio with my cars. But it's a great place to work, and I'm so happy to have this space. I blocked off half of my studio because a working studio is oftentimes a mess. You reached me at a good time because I have a kiln load that I'm about to fire. And it has all the pieces that I've been working on for a while. I use a lot of tools, a lot of different clays, cookie cutters, just just random stuff. I just love stuff. So I have plenty of it. These are different clays, porcelain, low fire, uh, I've got Raku, I've got stuff with grog, some without grog. I even use a terracotta from time to time. But these are my favorite things to use. Um, these are leno cut blocks, rubber blocks. I carve on both sides and then I press those into the clay creating a kind of relief. I do uh, food safe items. Um, the low fire stuff that I work on is food safe but not dishwasher safe. So just if you get something from me, make sure you know which clay I used. These are um, made with tools, which I already put away. Um, these are speed cut, speed ball lino cutters that create these grooves that later become the, the lines, the relief lines. This is an antique wood carving piece of a uh, wood carving tool that work great to uh, carve these pieces. Okay, so over here I have a piece of the fired or bisque fired clay of the heron and I will glaze fire that later after this bisque firing and then I put the these pieces into old silver plated trays and dishware and make wall art out of them. This doesn't have a dish, but it, I used a dish to form that little pocket. I use resin to keep them all together. These pieces are not yet resined, just because I have other elements in the kiln that I want to add to these later. I like to use a lot of different patterns and layer them on. I uh, just found some uh, Elon transfers that I've been using uh, along with my other uh, heavily patterned pieces. I use vinyl clings and um, I use antique wallpaper rollers um, to get some of my pattern paint rollers. These are my smaller pieces. Uh, this year was very um, different as far as selling goes so my Etsy shop is has been really taken off and is very full uh, if you buy something from me in my Etsy shop and you have to pay shipping I will certainly add something else either little um, worry stones or stickers or little uh, fortune cookies this sticker was a uh, inspired by this piece. I just took it and turned it into a little sticker. Anyway, some of the pieces that I've made. This is just a small sampling of what I do. I didn't want to overwhelm you, but I did want to um, introduce myself and say thank you very much for coming to the Texas Clay Festival. Hope to see you next year and hope to hear from you soon. Thanks guys.